What's going on everybody? Let's watch this bitch. Alrighty people, so let's get started. The very first thing I'm doing is taking everything that doesn't belong in the car out of the car to make sure that we have a clean area and that we don't have any distractions whatsoever. After that, we're gonna go ahead and take the carpets out. Now let me skip it because I know you're not here to watch me take out the carpets. Let's go ahead and look at the inside of the car, the seats. They still look good, it doesn't pick up on, on camera, but the seats are actually pretty dirty. The center console is also pretty dirty as well, even though we don't use it a lot. And the back, I mean, there you can see that the floor is nasty. We don't even have kids, I mean, it's pretty bad back here. The seats are still looking pretty good, um, a little bit of dirt here and there, but yeah. So I actually wanted to interrupt this real quick guys because I did record this on a separate day. I had forgotten that I had to clean the carpets and I threw them somewhere and then I was like whoa I haven't finished it. So we're gonna go ahead and clean the carpets now and then we're gonna go get back to the car. So because these are all weather mats uh, they're actually pretty easy to clean so we're just gonna use regular um, soap. Um, to clean them we're gonna add a little bit of soap uh, to each one and then we're gonna use the drill and a tool that I bought separately um, to clean them it's pretty easy you guys are gonna see we're gonna speed the process up because once again I don't want to take too much of your time So after using the brush, we're just going to go ahead and rinse them off and we're going to put them to the side. I hope I didn't take too much of your time, let's get back to the car. Moving right on, we're going to go ahead and open the frunk. Now I don't storage a lot of things here, I usually just keep the cables and an air mattress for some reason I guess, maybe we stay out, who knows. It's not that dirty so we're just going to clean this up uh, a little bit. And then the back, uh, the trunk is pretty dirty, um, I do play some sports and you know, dust, dirt grass as you can see always gets here but it's all good we're gonna go ahead and clean that up but well, let's get right into it let's close all the doors and let's get washing boys now the very first thing we're gonna do is get the pressure washer out now this one I just got it from Amazon it's probably the cheapest one on Amazon you know I'm not gonna spend a lot of money just to wash the car now come on now I might, if I spend all that money I might as well just send it somewhere and wash it there we're gonna go ahead and plug this shit in. Now it's a whole mess to plug it in. Um, I forgot, I had, I, I tried to plug it into the Christmas lights, so that shit was not working. So let's just speed this process up a little bit. Right here, I finally got the cables working. I got everything I needed, got the extension cord, got, got it plugged in. We're gonna try it out and see if it works. After it's plugged in, let's just put the barrel in. I guess that's what you call it, I'm not sure. First time it didn't work, just squeeze it up a little bit. Now we're good to go. Now let's get into the car. Now we are going to go ahead and wash the car off with the water first, just to remove all the dust or anything, debris that can be on the car. Now I have like a hundred different angles of me washing the car, but I know you're not here to watch me just pour water on the car. So I'm just gonna speed the process up a little bit and I'll see you in a little bit. Moving right on to the good stuff. We are gonna wash the car with this chemical guy snow foam soap Now I bought it off Amazon for about 20 bucks. It was the cheapest Foam soap that they had, you know, we're going cheap going cheap But um, I wanted to see if it was gonna really make that foam soap feeling um, but it as you're gonna see in a in another clip it actually didn't work as I thought it was going to but it did the job here I'm just pouring it into the soap container that came with the pressure washer and yeah, let's move on. Next we're going to go ahead and wash it off a little bit with the water because it got dry and then let's watch that reload time though, barrel to soap container, that was pretty good. So here's where we're applying the soap. Now as you guys can see, the soap is not really a foam soap. It's a little bit better than the dishwasher soap that I was using before. It is sticking to the car a little bit better, but it's not that foamy soap that I thought I was going to get. Next, we're 
Next, let's go ahead and give it that good scrub. Now I know you guys are not here to watch my ass scrub the car. So let's just speed it up a little bit. Next, we're gonna go ahead and rinse the car. Now, like my friends at the car wash always told me, start from the top and work yourself down to the bottom. So that's what we're doing here. Let's give you guys another angle, the side angle. The car is actually looking pretty shiny. It's looking good. The foamy soap is not as foamy as I'd expected it to be, but it's doing its job, you know? Moving on, let's go ahead and work on the back of the car. You know we have to keep the back shiny. Let's go ahead and rinse it off a little bit because it was getting a little bit dry. And then we're gonna go ahead and apply the soap. Now, watch that reload time though. Now, that's still too slow. I do have to get better at it, but it's all right. We'll make it work. So we're gonna start from the top and work ourselves down to the bottom of the car. I felt like this time the soap was sticking to the car a little bit more, a little bit better than the side, but it's still not that foam soap that I was looking for. So, I don't know, I'll rate the soap three out of five. It was, it did the job, but it wasn't sticking to the car. So once we are done scrubbing the back, we're gonna go ahead and rinse it off. That reload time though, that was a little bit better. I know the, the clip is sped up, but I think we're getting better at it. We're gonna go ahead and rinse it off from the top to the bottom. Now, take a look at the car though. The car is looking shiny. That was, that's looking good. And you guys are gonna see the final results in a little bit, but it's good. Now let's go ahead and move on to the front. Now the front is one of the harder sides to clean. And I say this because of the front bumper. Now, if you guys take a look, the front bumper doesn't have that grill that usual gasoline cars have. And it's just a magnet for uh, scratches, for rocks, for bugs. It just catches everything that is on the road. Uh, now we do have a paint protector film that makes it way easier for us to clean the car. So I would suggest if you do have a Tesla with the, without the grill or just any car without the grill, get you a paint protector film and save you a headache. All right, as we're almost done, finally washing the car. I mean, you guys can see it's almost nighttime at this point. It's been a little minute, but um, we're gonna go ahead and rinse the front of the car. It's looking good. Halfway through it, I realized that I made a huge mistake. I left the soap container open on the floor, and um, let me just point to it. There's a bunch of soap on the ground, you know? I mean, you guys know I'm all about the money, and that's like five bucks worth of the the soap that I just bought. So yeah, let's not do that again. Finally, the last side, which is the left side. Now, watch that reload time. I really fucked that one up. That was that was one of the worst ones. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the final side of the car. Let's get it soaked up, and I'll see you in a little bit. And the last thing, we're finally almost done. We're gonna go ahead and dry the car. Let's get the microfiber cloth out of here, and let's get ready to dry. All right, so it is nighttime, so we're gonna go ahead and save the inside of the car for the next video. Peace. Nah, I'm just fucking with you guys, but it is a brand new day, and we're gonna go ahead and use the Dyson vacuum for the inside of the car. Now, I bought all of these tools that come separately on Amazon for cheap. You know, we like for cheap. We like the low stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and look for the right one. Now, you're gonna see me pick one that's actually not the right one. My wife, like a wise woman came and told me that you actually don't clean carpets with that one. So you're gonna see me use another one throughout the video. But we're gonna go ahead and put it together and I'll see you in a little bit. It's almost time to get to the good stuff, which is the cleaning stuff for the white seats. But first we do have to vacuum the carpets and the seats. So let's do that first and I will see you guys in a few.
right here, I'm just showing you guys what the car looks like right now. The front is looking neat, it's looking clean. The center console is looking brand new. And that's the beauty about washing the car, isn't it? Just getting that feeling of brand new, just unbeatable. Now let's make sure we give some love to the back seats. You know, we gotta keep those passenger seats neat. So let's get to it. Now listen, I might not be the goat of car washing detail geek, but the car's looking nice, all right? Shout out to Detail Geek. Now let's go ahead and finish the trunk so we can move on to the seats. All right, so finally for the grand finale, you guys are gonna see how we clean the white seats. For this, we're going to use the Chemical Guys leather protectant, leather cleaner, and the leather conditioner. Now there's different steps to each one and each one comes after the other one. So we're going to go ahead and take a look and see specifically how we're supposed to do this. All right, so let's pay attention to which one we're gonna use first. The first one is the leather cleaner. Now, obviously this is the one that we're gonna to use to clean the leather seat. Uh, this one is like a liquid. Uh, we're just gonna spray it all over the seats and we're gonna go ahead and wipe it with a cloth. going to repeat the same steps to all the other seats in the car. Alright, so coming at number two, we have the leather conditioner. Now this one, you might need a little bit of explaining to know what it does. This one pretty much gives the leather that um, leather texture again, and it rejuvenates the leather as it, it was new. So the Tesla seats are still pretty new. They're only a year old, but I'm sure as time goes by, there's gonna be some signs of wear and tear so hopefully this chemical guys substance will help me protect the leather seats long term. And then the last one, which is arguably the most important one, is the protectant serum. Now, this one is the one that is going to protect the leather seats from sun rays, from dirt, from dust, from stains, from color dye transfer, all of those things that, you know, if you have leather seats you suffer from, this is the one that's going to help you with that. So we have finally applied all three chemicals to the leather seat and they already feel like they're brand new again. They look shinier, they smell better, and they actually feel like they're protected. They don't feel weak, uh, which tends to happen with these Tesla seats. A lot of people uh, argue that the Teslas are cheap and they're, they don't have the best materials and the quality, but these are the, the materials that help you with that. Alrighty, and the very last thing we're going to do to finish it off is wipe the car inside with some baby wipes. The car collects a lot of dust, like every other car, um, but we're gonna go ahead and wipe the, the mirror, we're gonna wipe the steering wheel, and we're also gonna go ahead and put the screen on wipe mode or cleaning mode, so we can actually wipe it off with the included Tesla wipe. Alrighty, people, these are the final results. I am very happy of what we have accomplished here today. Um, I think the car looks great. If you guys have any questions or have any advice and want me to try something now, just let me know. Let's connect. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Um, I appreciate all the support. 
and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.